Okay, I'm ready for my catfish transformation. Okay, I'm ready for my catfish transformation. Okay, I'm ready for my catfish transformation. catfish transformation videos on the YouTube and I have to say they intrigue me I watch them every time and I feel like it's it's time that I get on the fish wagon it is my turn to have a transformation catfishing more like fishing for compliments but actually tell me that I'm pretty now I'm not a makeup historian I don't claim to know much or if anything about the art of makeup but I have a big heart and a big but no. I have a big heart, I have big dreams, and I'm gonna make this work. So my idea is simple. This is my muse. Muse. To keep on track, I sketched up what was going on in my creative genius brain of mine, and I want to do the catfish animal on the bottom of my face. So those are the whiskers. It kind of looks like Doraemon right now. Um, anyways, and then on the top of my face, I'm gonna do the makeup catfish. I've just finished picking everything on my face with my grubby fingers and I'm ready to apply the makeup. <laughs> I need to impress Tyler. I want to be unrecognizable. Oh, no, don't look at me! What? I wanted to impress you. You impress me. Okay. Holy heck. Is it good so far? Is it good? Yeah. Well, um, I think it's. I don't think it's safe for you to be around a school. Are we going on a date to the school? Well, just there any children, minors, people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So don't even lie to me. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I failed. But I'm ready to take on the challenge again. So let's do this. <laughs> Alright, this is the plan. I'm gonna to attempt to do a catfish inspired look. Well, it's like a, a half catfish, half catfish, kind of like a centaur. So first we're gonna be doing the gills. I've never said that before in my life. I made these gills out of gelatin, water and honey. It's drying up already. Pretty proud of myself. I've never made molds for my face before. All right, I've got to do the other side, but I have to let you know that this is the first time I've ever done something like this before. I see now that the gills are way too long. They take up my whole face. Okay, this is what it is so far. Um, I'm gonna move on to my eyes while my gills are drying. Oh, by the way, I came prepared. I went to the shops this morning and I got some kids face paint. Okay, this is the laughable part of the video, hence the music. I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I never have and I never will, probably. But I am trying and my idea was to do a mermaid-esque kind of eye look, which I am giving my best shot. That's some shading technique, very well done. And it doesn't actually look too bad from afar. That was my eye attempt. It looks very messy, I know. Please write it in the comments, I need engagement. My gills have somewhat dried, so I'm going to attempt to do the bottom of my face now. So I'm putting the white on the top. I'm not sure why. Um, I figured maybe when, when the sun hits the gills, you know, it's like almost the highlight of the gills. The color's not really sticking on that. That looks super crackly. This one looks a little bit better. But as much as I need to do my gills, I need to make sure that I also look like a catfish. FYI, the chin of a catfish is white, so I used my white face paint to color in my chin. Kind of look like Santa. And I'm gonna take this eyeliner, this black liquid eyeliner, and just make a defined shadow. FYI again, I did art GCSE, so well, I never did the exam, I, I quit before that, but I do know how to shade. I, I kind of know how to shade. This is me. Shading with some black eyeshadow, just to give it some depth, you know? <laughs> I feel bad coloring in my nose right now. I'm gonna get so many blackheads. I feel it coming, I feel it coming. I'm all about details, so I went in and did some freckles. Uh, faux freckles, some would say. 
And the next step is to draw on the eyes for the catfish. And she really comes to life at this point. Okay, the eyes are a little bit lopsided, but whatever, major loser. I think I have almost, that kind of looks bad. Oh well, I think that I've almost finished with the animal catfish. I just need to do the whiskers, the whiskers. Six forty-seven. not a great start to a Tinder date. Seriously, just be punctual. How am I gonna marry a girl on Tinder if she's 12 minutes late? 6.35, I said one thing, one request. 6.35 and bring yourself. Tyler! Yeah, who are you? <laughs> It's me? It's your Tinder date. Of course you are. You look just like your photos. <laughs> Thank you, I know I'm hot. Have a, have a seat. Please get your own chair. So, it's lovely to meet you. You look just as I expected. You don't, you don't look like your photos. You look so much prettier. Sometimes I'm scared of Tinder dating because of catfishing. <laughs> to worry about that with me. I'm real. I'm so glad I swiped left, right, right. I swiped right. Yeah. Um, you look, you've got a bit of, I think it's, is it cold outside? No, I mean, climate's fine. Well, um, it's really been nice to meet you. I've enjoyed our dates, but Wait, I what, better be getting on. Uh, sorry, I'm not a pescatarian. <sighs> well, there's plenty more fish in the sea. You know that I can actually eat my gills and my whiskers. <laughs> Should I try them? <coughs> I, I can't. All right, anyways, ending it there. So my extreme catfish transformation has come to an end. I believe it has been very successful and um, I can't wait to stop wobbling my spaghetti. If you haven't already, I'm sure that this has convinced you to subscribe to my channel. So why don't you go ahead and smash the subscribe button to subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the notification bell and like my video and comment. Thank you. Feel free to use my catfish transformation as a tutorial. I know that lots of you are gonna be bursting to try it out. Stay fishy, bishy. Baby, when you move your body.